Carving in Coffee 6. Hmm. I'm going to have to get a block of wood in the morning. Time to get carving. Something like that. And let's just go. Just roughing her all out. It's gonna look worse before it looks better. I'm not sure what I did there. A little hook on there. I think I must have grabbed it just like that. So I better not do that. It hurts. I 
Okay, let's grab a knife and get it going here. Not knife too much. Big boy. Okay, so we kind of got a rough idea of the nose. So, in case you didn't realize, or if you're if you're new, that cabin is my self-reliance, Sean James, on YouTube, and he's been building that uh, cabin all year, pretty much, with the basic hand tools. So, if you don't know who he is, go check him out. I was just having a little bit of fun stealing a piece of wood. <laughs> so. That's your basic roughing, eyes and the nose, and uh, we'll work into a bit of a mustache shortly. Get this all roughed up before we get out the, the knives. Start going at it. It's just a lot bigger than I'm used to. My goodness. Okay, I'm just gonna, gonna finish roughing this all in and uh, I'll get back to you. Just clean this nose has to go in. I'll be doing this a few times before I'm satisfied with it, I'm sure. Okay, well I think I got them down uh, rough enough with the big tools, and uh, now it's the my favorite time. Get down to some knife work where I belong. A lot more so than uh, with the chisels. <laughs> Bring them down each 
which way. Okay, got them roughed out pretty good, but I think uh, we're ready for to get some eyes in here before we really fine tune it. But uh, first things first, uh, I think we need a coffee. Scorp I got from uh, Lee Stouffer. A, before we even start, uh, I think I always got that set up. Little pin, you pull a pin, you slide out, and that's that little uh, spoon scorp I was just farting around with in the eyes for the beginning, but it's really not its place right here. But uh, I just wanted to try it. But what a cool little, uh, beautiful knife! Woodwork is fantastic. I just love this little pin. So that's uh, Lee Stouffer, and I'm gonna show these off too. His little spoons he made me, a little coffee scoop and a little eating spoon, and they're just perfect. So it's so much fun. So I'm drinking from my cup from Alex. I'm making my own little face on a piece of stolen wood. And uh, yeah, I'm having a fun time. Oh, I know. Look at that. A little wood bowl. I just kind of keep odds and ends in this. But this is a little wood bowl from uh, Jared Stone Doll. He, uh, with a foot powered lathe, carves the, the bowl. So look at all the. The wood fun here. I mentioned uh, if you see if it'll make the clip or not, but uh, I got this uh, ice pick from uh, Jimmy Dresta. Oh, but it works fantastic for just getting all the little crumbs out of the uh, out of the little creases and cuts. So there's 101 uses for the uh, old ice pick. I think it's coming good. This is not my uh, specialty at all. Like, I, I'm more apt to do something like this, or even this, little little fellas. But which reminds me, there's another another one here. But uh, I have an idea. It may not start until the new year. But I have an idea to instead of going through all this production all the time, I'll keep doing the carving and coffees every once in a while because, like I said. I look at these as entertainment, but I think I want to start, uh, I get lots of messages, amazingly enough, of people that are inspired to carve and start whittling, and I think I'm going to start doing a, uh, 
just a, a shorter uh, instructional of uh, basic uh, whittles. Just little simple little whittles that uh, people can work on and build up their confidence to uh, tackle bigger projects or just uh, to keep their hands busy. So I think I might start that with some classic whittles, you know, like little sticks and ball and chains and stuff like that. So I have it in my mind anyway, I'd like to do that. I call it like the weekly whittle. The only uh, whittling video. Weekly witty, weekly, w w wow, weekly whittling video that's guaranteed not to be weekly. I gotta keep working on this fella here and uh, attack the cursed eyes. My my Achilles heel is the is the eyeball. So I gotta finish my coffee and it will be on to the eyes. Okay. There we go. <laughs> so we're just gonna create a little a little bag under his eye there. <laughs> what we wanna do now is just make that eyeball into an eyeball. Kind of round it. Okay, I'll do the same thing on this side. I think we've got a couple of eyes. I think we do. What we're going to want to do is put in the, some eyeballs. Now, I think the best way is, is to have them looking in a direction. So let's just start maybe here. See if we can pop them out of there without too much trouble. There we go. Just that little hollow gives it a little bit of a depth perception. It's a little bit it's the opposite of uh, <laughs> taking it away to make it look like dark spot. So that way now he's looking to his left. this fellow here is his hairline comes down like that. I want to uh, draw these lines on here just to kind of clean these cheeks up. Get rid of all this stuff here. And uh, get a little edge. It's going to come down. Like that. Okay. side. Bring the cheek down. Just kind of round it up. Rounding it up. I'm going to cut down with the green.
the boy doesn't have a mouth. So I'm just gonna give him a little bit of a little lip with a little little hole in there. Not too much, just enough to to say it's a hole. Oops. Oops camera. Right up to the bottom of the lip. One more time. There. Shut a mouth. get the idea. I'm going to clean up all this rough wood. I'm probably going to start giving him his, uh, his head a little bit of a, a little bit of rounding over too. I should bring it downstairs and put my axe on it. Maybe I will. Let's do that. Let's go downstairs and just take my axe and just kind of round this a bit. Clean this up. That is a Robin Wood carving axe, and that's a Swante Dejar, and uh, that's what we're going to use. I want to try and give the illusion of the the beard kind of going that way. Like I said, I wish I had made it well that much longer, then I could finish the full beard. But it's just going to be a wall hanger anyway. So, and then this here, I guess we're going to go like that. I guess he guesses. this way be deeper all right we're gonna start working on some hair there's gonna be no real rhyme or reason to this hair other than I want to make it out to that point Finish this up right around here, and I'll uh, I'll get back with you. It's getting late here, boys and girls. Not sure what I'm gonna do with this guy. I think I might stain him and put him out on the the playhouse outside. Something that might be kind of cool. I wonder if I could burn the fuzzies with a torch. Kind of give it a bit of an antiquing too.
Well, why don't I just uh, finish what I'm doing here, and then I'll bring you back in when I'm done. Because I'm sure this video is getting long. It feels long. But I'll tell you what I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking we should put a torch on them and burn off all these little fuzzies and give them a coat of stain. I think it's going to be kind of a, just a practice man anyway. And I'll probably just screw them to the fence or something out back or to the playhouse. So I think we should go and uh, well, just take a torch and, and burn them all off. And then highlight a couple things and then put like a golden oak stain on them. And then tomorrow we'll go and screw them to a post. But I think overall he's the uh, he's okay. He's a good practice guy. And uh, I'll definitely do this again, and I'll definitely do it way bigger and crazier. But uh, that was fun. So let's go burn them. All right, let's burn this bad boy. the hair burning. Okay, I'm going to get some sandpaper and, and get the skin back and uh, that'll be kind of fun. I'm going to run over with a sander quick. <laughs> Looking pretty cool now, I think. Let's get some stain. We'll stain them up. Some golden oak uh, minwax stain here. We'll just smother. <laughs> I don't think I ruined them. Well, let's just let them dry overnight and then uh, we'll come back tomorrow and uh, See what I really think of him. I think he's good enough. Like I said, I wish I had gone longer, got the full beard, the full hair, but uh, next time I will for sure. But I think he turned out okay. Overall, if I, if I stare too hard at him, I'll start picking out flaws, but the next one will be better for sure. But we'll come back tomorrow and uh, have a good look at it. See what we think.
Oh, well, there's our man, all finished up. I think he's all right. I wish I had gone with the, like I said before, the full beard, crazy hair, but it is what it is, and uh, I don't mind him. I'm not sure he's going to stay there, but Sophie's not here, so that's where he's going right now. Anyway, hope you liked the video, and uh, I will catch you on the next one. Later, guys.